Hey guys, how are you doing? In this episode, we are going to see how to clear apps cache on iPhone. If you have recently bought an iPhone or iPad previously, when you were using Android systems, you may be able to clear the system specific cache memory and app specific cache memory easier right from the system settings. But when it comes to the iPhone or iPad, the iOS or iPad OS, the cache management is done entirely different. Apple have implemented automated cache clearing or temporary files clearing system in place. When you navigate to settings, general and iPhone storage and scroll to the bottom to see the iOS and system data related storage consumption. Here the iOS by default takes under 12 GB and when it comes to the system data, you can see it takes around 2.91 GB for me, but it keeps on fluctuating, you know, it keeps on changing according to the applications I normally use. Below each setting, you can also see what that particular feature, you know, normally is going to perform the description of that specific feature. You can see the system data includes caches, logs and other resources currently in use by the system. This value will fluctuate according to the system needs. So so whenever you use video streaming applications or games, you know, it'll keep on changing, either increasing or decreasing once you close the application. And if it keeps on increasing, then you can follow uh, the tutorial that we have provided uh, recently in our channel. I'll leave a link to this in the description and in the first comment, how to delete the system data if it is consumed like 10 GB or more than 20 GB for some users. So you can follow that step to help you flush out all the unnecessary system data occupying your you know entire iPhone storage. Coming back to the topic when it comes to the cache data management of each applications that we install and use Apple allows the developer to include such option. For example when it comes to the telegram messenger when you navigate to the data and storage storage usage you can see the clear entire cache option. So here for me uh, according to the usage I have 330.2 MB of cache can be cleared like it is a temporary data which will help me to see them quickly instead of loading the uh, content every time. So this will not delete any media files I have already downloaded but the cache memory management that the telegram app implemented and which also allowed me to clear them. When it comes to the WhatsApp application when we navigate to the storage and data manage storage section this app handles the cache memory differently where it automatically clears out any cache memory or temporary files according to your usage like every time you view the photos and videos that specific file will be stored and you won't be able to manage it manually so what you have to do is within this manage storage section either in the bottom specific to the chat person or a group you need to navigate inside and clear the memory totally it is consumed. It is not the cache data, it is the actual media files that is sent and received between the person or the group members which you can clear to reduce the total amount of storage that WhatsApp have consumed which also clears the cache memory. And at the top section you can see they have also provided quick access to you know by categorizing it the media contents especially you can review and delete them according to the size and free up any large files that is unnecessarily stored in your storage. The reason people do this management is like sometimes they may face some hiccups hangs or you know slow performance issues with their iPhone or iPad in such cases as a basic troubleshooting step you need to perform a restart of your iPhone by doing the restart the apps that we have installed you know the system data automatically uh, flushes out and you know the cache data and everything will be freed up a little bit the RAM will get free along with the cache and temporary data so that you will notice some better performance across the system one additional tip that I like to share is make sure you have at least 10 GB of free space if it is possible to you know clear out the photos videos and if you can take the backup of any static content to the cloud storage and free up the local storage giving a 10 GB of SSD space will also help you to overall experience a smooth apps navigation and usage. The next important thing is whenever you use Instagram Twitter or any other application along with the in-app browser Safari also consumes quite some amount of uh, temporary data. So navigate to settings and then 
scroll to the Safari and here you can see the clear history and website data. This will not delete any of your bookmarks or you know the passwords and form filling details that you have already saved. This will only clear the history and website data, the cookies and all other uh, temporary files and data that have been stored in your storage within the Safari application for quick access. Like whenever you visit the website again, it will load and you know show the website content, the image and all the other media content quickly. So you can clear this website data to free up you know in-app browsers uh, overall cache and temporary data so that your system may experience little more performance boosted and one more thing I like to mention is after installing the iOS 17 Apple also in talks with the developers uh, when it comes to the storage management and here you can see that apps like Instagram as I said in our recent episode started consuming higher amount of storage according to our usage when you watch more reels more images then the size keeps on increasing till iOS 16 this was not a problem but with the Instagram Facebook and YouTube application the size overall consumed have increased a lot you know compared to the previous version since I was 17 so you need to reinstall this application you are not going to lose any data simply you have to log in again with your Instagram account if you want to reduce it like set a mark either it is 6 GB or 7 GB or 10 GB once it reached that limit if it is not automatically reducing and managing it then you need to delete the application and then reinstall it offload application will not be helpful if it is app related data then offload app will definitely be helpful but the documents and data is where the problem which we need to free up along with the cache memory and other temporary files and logs so you need to delete the application and reinstall it in order to see the reduced size of overall you know and that will definitely be helpful the last method is making sure that your iOS system software is updated to the latest version. So check the settings, general software update and make sure you're running the latest iOS software because each time Apple releases a minor update or major release, they fix tons of bugs that is also related to the memory management. So that sometimes helps you to get a good performance overall. So do try these steps and this is enough to manage to clear apps cache on your iPhone and iPad. For more iPhone, iPad and Mac related tips and tricks, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day.